Yeah, r real. That, now, we started the interview, Robin, right there with a question. It may get me irritated a little bit right there. It, it's, it's real. There's no doubt about it. And people always say, oh, it's fake. I always tell them, hey, you try getting thrown off a 20-foot steel cage through a table, and let's, let's see how real it is, you know. So it's real, no doubt. Raw and the war zone are definitely the cure for the common show. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? It goes back, Robin. It goes back. 1995 Survivor Series uh, was the first pay-per-view my mom and I ordered. And uh, Shawn Michaels was my, is my favorite wrestler of all time. Uh, still is to this day, HBK, nothing like Sweet Chin Music, uh, tuning up the band. And he was, I'll never forget, he was wrestling uh, Psycho Sid um, for the WWF ch title, and they, they kind of cheated him. I remember Shawn Michaels lost, and I remember, I remember crying to my mom. I was crying after the match, and my mom was like, hey, look, you know, if, if we're gonna if we're gonna continue to watch these, you can't cry in these matches. I was like, yes, ma'am. So I never cried again, and, uh, but, but I was, I, I mean, I was in it. Oh, okay, all right. Man, this is, now this is deep, these are deep questions, Robin, like these are, deep, these are good. Um, man, I don't know wrestling names. Charmin Song. No, it's from this Walnut One. <laughs> like Maniac, Maniac, Maniac. Okay. The Energizer Buddy. Dirty Scotty. Dirty Scott, Dirty Scott. I'm gonna go to the road run. Roll run. Roll run? Yeah, <laughs> roll run. He'd be running around. Speed Demon. I think Speed Demon's a perfect one for him. I think that, I think that like, sets the tone for the entire, like, the entire image. I'm going to say Wacky Walden. Wacky Walden because that dude is nuts, okay, about everything. Walden, WWE SmackDown name, Scotty Too Hot. I said, you <laughs> I love kind of like, uh, you know, I was, I was also, also a big Brett the Hitman Hart fan. So like something with the Hitman or I don't know, uh, some big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. So, you know, stunning Scotty maybe works. I don't know. We can put a poll on Twitter, see if that see if that'll work. Finishing move. Now I'm particular about this. From a finishing move standpoint, it has to be something that can be done in the blink of an eye. You know, it, it's got to be the super kick, which is sweet chin music, man. It just comes out of nowhere. And We, uh, we had a trampoline in my backyard and we used to charge the, the neighborhood kids to come watch our, our wrestling federation. We used to charge them about 25 cents. They had to pay a quarter to get in my backyard. You know, like for Christmas, you get all the popcorn and those lids are real, you know, you can hit somebody with those lids and it doesn't hurt, but it sounds really bad. We grew to an attendance of at least 12 people. It was, uh, it was pretty, it got pretty big. It got, it got kind of wild out there. That's my, that's my wrestling career. Uh, that's about as far as it went though. What's your record then? Oh, undefeated, no doubt. I think I was like five and all. Ever tried to do any moves on you by chance? Oh yes, and then um, I just take them down. It's easy, simple as that. Nice. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna get a glimpse into a super kick or a super slam. I would say he's more controlled in football, um, and he just goes completely crazy with WWE. <sighs> I, I pitched it just a little bit. I, I you know, I, it was kind of something I, you know, kind of, kind of tried to sneak in there, but it, it, I could tell it really didn't take. Um, it came up in discussions, uh, but we actually ended up having more of a football-themed wedding, so I feel like he wasn't disappointed. We are talking about for my son's uh, birthday doing some WWE-themed birthday, so I think I'll get it on the back end. You know, my mom would take me to. Uh, shows in Fort Worth and Dallas all the time. And then WrestleMania uh, came to, to Dallas in 2016. Me and my wife and my mom at WrestleMania. And uh, I think she spent more time filming us and our reactions to when, uh, you know, the superstars like Stone Cold, The Rock, and, and, th and those folks came out and uh, filming our reactions. And, you know, I, I think she questioned, um, you know, maybe, maybe her decision when I asked her to marry me, you know, <laughs> a little bit. She's gonna come around, we're gonna keep working on her. Oh, th I mean, this, Robin, this is a, uh, this is a dangerous question you're asking right here. It's very dangerous. He would pick Shawn Michaels in a heartbeat. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm not taking the bait on that one. I'm going with my wife on a date, 100% all the way right there. What about over Luca? Ooh, now that's a close one. 
He would probably take Luca with him to meet Shawn Michaels. Uh, yeah. And you're with it. Yes. <laughs> Are you in the player or a coach? Ooh. Share the layman. They look alike. You know what? I would love to see him wrestle with Bucky Williams. Cap. Coach Cap. Easy. That puts me in a tough spot. No, him and Coach Kemp. They'll be a good one. Scotty and, and Cordell. Scotty and Cordell. Huh? I think I think Scotty will win though. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> I have a lot of experience and a lot of wins under my belt. Uh, so I respect my opponent. I think it's gonna be a good matchup.